One of the great trivia questions about the Pro Football Hall of Fame is, who is the only Hall of Famer born in Honduras? Uh, very few people know that that is Steve Van Buren. Uh, and the reason is that his father was a fruit inspector down in Honduras, and that was where the family lived. Whenever people ask me about Van Buren, they try to get some idea of what he was. Tell me who he's like. Kind of imagine John Riggins in a leather helmet on black and white footage playing in the 1940s. That's what Steve Van Buren was. I mean, he was six feet one, 215 to 220 pounds, which was a real big man for that era. A big power back that could drop his shoulder and knock over a linebacker. But also, when he got into the open field, had the speed to run away from defensive backs. Steve had a lot of nicknames during his career. The Honduran Hurricane was one of them. He was called Wham Bam. He was called Moving Van. He was called Supersonic Steve. He was sort of ahead of his time in terms of nicknames. But I think the real measure of his greatness is the fact that almost 60 years after his retirement, he still holds nine Eagles team records. He was the first player, not just in Eagles history, but in league history, to have multiple thousand yard rushing seasons. And again, this is in a time of a 12 game season when a thousand yards was not easy to achieve. He led the league in rushing four times. And he retired as the leading rusher in the history of the National Football League. Following an eight-year career with the Eagles, Steve Van Buren was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1965, the ultimate honor from a league he wasn't sure would last. I thought it might fold. There was no money around then. You know what I signed for the Eagles? I signed for 4000 I said, whatever you want to give me, I'll sign for. I would have played for anything then. The Eagles of 1947, 48, and 49 were a great team. I mean, one of the all-time great teams. And the guy that made them great was Van Buren. If you look at the two championship games they won, 1948 in the blizzard in Philadelphia. When we set a snowstorm, we really mean it. It's a seven nothing game. Van Buren scores the only touchdown. With the championship riding on his shoulders, Steve Van Buren blasts off right tackle for the game-winning touchdown. The next year, they go to Los Angeles and play the championship game in a driving rainstorm where the mud is literally up above the ankles of the players. Van Buren rushes for 196 yards, which was the all-time NFL postseason record and stood for generations. And the Eagles won that game 14 to nothing. In the biggest moments that that team had, Van Buren always delivered. Ladies and gentlemen, Let's hear it for the greatest eagle of the wall, number 15, Steve Van Buren.